Hello again. Um, uh, another update on the Chipson. As you can see, I have started to strip it ready for um, the rebuild, uh, which will be done in the next couple of weeks. Um, I've got a cheap fret rocker. Um, and yeah, I've got a basic fret leveling sort of Luvia kit coming. Uh, and yeah, I will definitely need it. Um, the frets, I'm trying to do this one handed holding a phone at the same time. Um, let me turn the music off a minute, hang on. frets even at these early stages of the frets that are you can just hear it rocking and that's it's like it all the way down so yeah um I got a fret leveling kit from Crimson Guitars which comes with a slot straight edge uh, fret file, uh, the triangular fret shaping file as well. It's just going to give it a go. Um, yet again, I bought this guitar as a project, so more than willing to take that on. Um, all the electrics you can see are now stripped, um, and I've got this. Show the address. I've got all my bits and pieces in one little box. You see, I've got um, pickups around a new plastic jack plug cover, um, some little pointers for the control dials that are more authentic, as with the um, the AFD model. Um, yeah, so just the knobs, the lamber. So this is the main bad boy that's going to be going in. It's uh, an American made by a company called, uh, I can't remember the name of the company, I know it's 920D custom wiring. Um, I use Bourne's pots, etc, etc, switchcraft switch, switchcraft jack. Um, and it's four push pulls. So you got your coil splits and your Jimmy Page style out of phase, etc. etc. Really nice pots, really smooth action. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be going in. I must admit, I've done some wiring on guitars before, but this is uh it, it's gonna be quite daunting because the bay on the back of the Les Paul is quite deep. Um, hence I've had to ask for the shorter shaft. On the pots which is something to look out for if you're doing this is you can shim it you can use the lock nut to and, and carry on and use a longer shaft but i've chose not to i've chose to get the correct length shaft for the guitar um which is only like the i can't remember what it's called something like nine eighths or something silly like that um but yeah it's gonna take some work the i, I believe the pot holes that are in at the minute are smaller than these so may take a little bit of drilling out I believe the switch may take a little bit of drilling hang on while you while filming I shall try oh no that will go straight in so that's a relief um, as for pots, I haven't tried the pots yet. Um, so yeah, may have to do that. Uh, I, I got the old Tunomatic out. Um, reflection of a tree outside the window. Um, I used the method which has been shown in a few other videos where I put a small screw. Um, I took the old bridge, Tunomatic bridge off. Took the old post out. 
leaving just the uh, shim or collar, whatever you want to call it, inside the actual guitar and then placed a small screw head down as to spread the load into the hole. I actually used a pickup adjuster screw um, and then wind the screw, wind the actual adjuster back into the bridge thus pulling the collar out. Really hard to explain and I'm sure there's much better terminology to explain it but it worked a treat, came out really easily, didn't cause any damage etc etc but finish remained intact because that was another fear that they do knock these guitars out quite quickly and I was a bit scared but perhaps the lacquer wouldn't even be dry before they started putting some of these fitments in and therefore um, the lacquer would be stuck to the bridge part that I was taking out. Um, I've got the nut off that was quite clean that small line that I had an issue with just there is still there but doesn't yet again is it doesn't seem to cause any issues so I've got a tusk nut to go on um, I've already fitted one just to see if it would actually fit directly into the original holes um, one of the new tuning keys to be more in keeping it again rather than these um, green tinted keys for more Gibson-esque white um, I went for some Wilkinson Deluxe they're only like literally 20 quid on eBay um, but get really good reviews so just give them a go and see what happens uh, and that is it uh, like I said I've got a bridge pickup in a previous video I've already got a bridge pickup I need to get the neck pickup um, unfortunately Santa didn't bring that so I shall be I shall be um, ordering one of those in the next couple of days and I might also order some of the little sticky back copper sheeting to um, isolate the cavities a little bit to shield the cavities um, but I'm not that that fussed but yeah other than that like I say the, the main 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 job other than rewiring is going to be this fret issue that one's rocking That one's rocking. And they rock in different places, like this end of the neck. It rocks at the top. Oh, I'm going to bottom, actually. Um, but yeah, you get further down. One of these ones down here, maybe even this one, is really quite bad. But yeah, so yeah, gonna follow the Crimson Guitars uh, instructional YouTube video with the kit that I've bought. Like I say, it comes with all the bits and pieces to do the job. But I shall try and take some footage of that at the same time to show an absolute idiot trying to do it. And we'll see how it goes. Anyway, hope you all had a good Christmas and I shall post another video soon, no doubt. Cheers, bye-bye.